the physical science lesson video for section 8.3. And so now we're going to focus on acids and bases. If you've been following the order, we talked about solutions and solutes and solvents and solubility. So now we're going to focus on acids and bases. So an acid is a compound that produces hydronium ions, which is H3O plus. It's when a water molecule H2O gains another hydrogen. So it becomes H3O plus when it dissolves in water. So if something is dissolved in water, and it forms H3O plus or hydronium ions, that substance is an acid. Some general properties of acids include a sour taste, like think about, for example, lemons, that has a sour taste that comes from citric acid. Reactivity with metals, depending on the metal and the concentration of the acid, a lot of times an acid will dissolve a metal completely. And ability to produce color changes in indicators. So indicators, they're chemicals that change color as pH changes. So I'm sure y'all have used pH papers or litmus papers before. Those have been soaked in an indicator, and that's why they change color when you put them in substances with different pHs. The reaction between an acid and a metal is an example of a single replacement reaction. So if you remember, we talked about reaction types. We have something single on both sides. So here's your acid, here's your metal, and so that's a single replacement. And so you can see in both of these examples, that metal, I mean, sorry, the acid is trying to dissolve that metal. It's creating a lot of bubbles. The bubbles in this example will be hydrogen bubbles because hydrogen is a gas. An indicator is any substance that changes color in the presence of an acid or a base. Phenolphthalene is an example of an acid-base indicator that is colorless in the presence of an acid and pink in the presence of a base. So here's an example of phenolphthalene. So we have acid, neutral, base. So you can see it's colorless in the acid and then it slowly turns pink as you get to the basic side. But that's not the only indicator. There's other ones, like this is methyl orange, um, there's bromothymol blue, there's all different kinds of indicators that change different colors in different pHs. A base, on the other hand, so an acid produces hydronium or H3O plus ions in solution. A base is a compound that produces hydroxide ions, or OH minus ions, when it's dissolved in water. So in general, the properties of a base include a bitter taste. So I'll bring in some unsweetened chocolate so you know what bitter is, in case you didn't. They tend to feel slippery. So think about if you ever got bleach on your hands. It feels slippery. Soap feels slippery. Those all have bases. And it also produces a color change in an indicator, but of course it would be a different color than what an acid produces. Otherwise, your indicator would be very good. So, for example, sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH, when you dissolve it in water, it breaks into NH plus, I mean NH, Na plus and OH minus. There's your hydroxide ion, so NaOH would be a base. So, a reaction between an acid and a base is called neutralization. The products of neutralization reaction are water and a salt. Remember, a salt is a whole category of compounds. It's not just sodium chloride like we eat. Okay, so here's three examples. So we have our acids. Our acids usually start with H plus. We have our bases. They usually end in OH minus. And so that H plus and those OH minuses, they'll bond to make water, which is H2O. So see, we make water in all of them, and then what's left over, like the NaCl, will bond and make your salt. Here, the K and the SO4 will bond to make your salt. And here, the Ca and NO3 will bond to make your salt. All right, so just whatever's left over after water is made, that compound is called a salt. So, section assessment. List three general properties of acids. Well, they taste sour, they react with metals, and they change the color of an indicator. They're sour, react with metals, and change the color of an indicator. Number two, list three general properties of bases. Well, they're bitter, slippery, and change the color of an indicator. Bitter, slippery, and change the color of an indicator. Number three, what are the two products of a neutralization reaction? Well, neutralization, you make water and a salt water and a salt. Remember, a salt includes the whole category of compounds. Number four, what ion is present in all common acid solutions? So remember, acids produce the hydronium ion, which is H3O plus. So that ion is always present, H3O plus. All right, so hopefully now you have a little bit of background information about the difference in acids and bases, the particles that they produce when dissolved in solutions, and what neutralization reactions are.